Looks like the Haranis had enough of you, too. Yeah, when this whole zombie thing came down, I was like, whoa, this sucks. So I figured, Rice seems like my kind of guy, so I was hanging with his mom, but then things went all pear shit. And they kicked you out in the streets with your hands tied. That's his version. Anyway, I thought I'd try the tower. Here's the deal. Get me to the ivory tower, and I'll hook you up with something that nobody in this whole shawarma eating bungholes got.
scream. I think I found your lost patrol. Something ripped them limb from limb. Search the bodies. Look for some blueprints in a small envelope. And don't damage them. They're worth more than all those dead assholes put together. Holy shit! Yeah, wait a sec. Where the hell is this guy?
Okay, I got it. Good. Bring it back to me right away. You're going to be a hero around here. Hey, you! Come over here! I'm on the antenna, do you see me? I'm up here! I need your help! I need your help finding my son, Christoph. You work for Rise, don't you? Sure, for protection. But I can't go to him for a thing like this. My son is... he's young. 
He thinks with his mouth instead of his head. He doesn't understand that sometimes you've got to go along with these people who aren't so good. Now he's run off to join Brecken's bunch at the tower. He thinks he's going to be a runner. That's not the safest line of work. He's going to get himself killed. He's not ready. He's too young to be out there. Shouldn't you be looking for him yourself? You don't understand. I make weapons for our eyes. If the new ones aren't ready when his people come, me and Kristoff are both dead. Please, do this for me. I'll give you something good. Something special. Okay? Yeah, maybe I'll ask around at the tower. If I find something, I'll let you know. But if you ask me, your protection seems to have you pretty scared. You should really think about it. So, I think it's safe to say that Rice isn't the most popular person in town, huh? No, but he is the most feared. And you know the old saying, it is better to be feared than loved if one cannot be both. Uh, Machiavelli. Correct. Smart fellow, that one. that thing out. Fuck. It just came out of nowhere. Oh my god. I won't be able to close my eyes without seeing that thing's face in my nightmares.
Prince. Excellent. You're a lot more dependable than most of these drunks. Rise is waiting for you. Maybe we can work together again sometime. God, I hope not. If you show them compassion, they will see it as weakness. And they will take your whole arm. Understand? I give you shelter, I give you bread, women, bullets. And you can a simple task. I should send every one of you to the pit. Ah, the tower lackey returns. Do you have something for me, friend? Yes, I do. Now it's time for you to give me what you promised. Two crates of Anderson. I think not. Your loyalty to the tower? It's nothing but blind obedience, Crane. A coward's submission to false hierarchies. You follow their rules as thoughtlessly as you follow mine. Like a good little dog. Look, we had a deal. <sighs> Your people need the antazine. Now, more than ever, I would surmise. But a man who follows someone else's rules is no man at all. Here. I will allow you this much. You promised me two crates of it. This is only five vials. If you want more, I present you with an opportunity. The athlete, the Scorpion, Jade Aldemir. She's one of your number. Bring her to me. I have an arena where men fight for our amusement. I would have this Scorpion fight for us. I'm curious how long it will take for someone of her caliber to uh, break. What? No. Now forget it. I'm not doing it. I hear no conviction in your voice, Crane. You have not yet made your choice, I can tell. Will you be a dog and save the dwellers of the tower? Or will you be a man and save the maiden? Go and think about it. So, how did it go? I think you know. What can I say, kid? You're lucky to be alive. He really must like you. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's my biggest fan. He didn't put a bullet in your head. He didn't throw you to the biters. He let you walk out of here alive. Maybe he figures he might still use you for something. Or maybe he's just thinking up a creative way to torture you to death. He does that sometimes. Watch your back, kid. Shit. Heads up, everyone. This is Alfie. We've just lost gas at the tower, and as far as I can tell, the whole city has too. Any guess what happened? None. And our gas man, Jeff, up and quit on us last week. He was kind of irreplaceable. Maybe I can track him down. Maybe, maybe, definitely, but get on it fast. Word is he's built up his own little fortress somewhere behind the train station. <laughs>
You can't get us all! Crane here. Report. Look, I'm no longer cooperating with Rise. He wanted me to kidnap Jade Aldemir and dump her with him so he can make her fight in his pit. Yes, and? Was that it? What do you mean, was that it? I'm not a fucking human trafficker. You seem to have forgotten how much is riding on this file, Crane. If Rise wants one girl, then give her to him. You'll be there to keep an eye on her, won't you? What the... What the fuck kind of humanitarian outfit are you guys? And for that matter, if this project file can save the world, why keep it a fucking secret? We're not paying you to be insubordinate, Crane. Get this done. Fuck you, asshole. You're Crane, right? Kyle Crane? Yeah. Erwin Snowberg, movie director. I make these zombie annihilation movie series. Yeah, you've probably seen them. Uh, no. Yeah, they're thought-provoking meditations about people very much like yourself who have to kill buttloads of zombies for various reasons. The details really aren't important. What is important is production cost. Makeup is a major factor. 
I'm talking head rot, arms falling off, guts hanging out. And when you blow them apart with guns, those squibs cost like crazy. So you've come to Haran? It's a tragedy, of course, but there's a fortune in special effects shambling through the streets just waiting to have their heads blown off for my next movie, Zombie Annihilation 4, Dying Lunch. <laughs> All I need is a gun nut who can drop in spectacular numbers, and I am told you are just such a man. You want to try calming down long enough to tell me what's wrong? Yeah, sure. Let's try that. Calming down will work. Yeah, calming down will solve everything. Oh. No, walking away from you will solve everything. Okay, okay, hang on. I'm chill. I'm chill, bro. So, I make these flares for a rise, right? Wait, flares? Like, like signal flares? No, no, UV flares. Like flares that the night things can't stand because they put out this UV, which stands for ultraviolet, which is like kind of a science thing. I got it. UV flares. Continue. There is no continue. My zinc is contaminated with fluorine. It's useless. Also, I'm out of turpentine, which isn't that hard to find. Except everything's hard to find right now. So when Rice's people come for their merchandise... Oh... Is he using people now? I thought he only used hired psychopathic gorillas. What do you need to make these things? Just zinc and turpentine, bro. I got the rest. Worst part is everything I need is in the train yard warehouses. But a guy like me isn't going to last ten seconds out there. Well, I'm surprised a guy like you's lasted that long in here. Oh, the, oh that's very funny. Ha ha! Very funny, funny man! Look, maybe I'll get your supplies, but if I do... Whatever you can make out of them, I take half. Half? No way! You're freaking nuts, bro! Look, you can give me half of something, or you can keep 100% of nothing. Half it is. It seems fair. Hey, you been looking for a runner? Well, we're looking for one who will say yes instead of no. Jafar can fill you in. It's you again? I mean, uh, what are you doing here? Relax, relax. I don't work for Rice. That was a one-time job, and it was all about protecting the tower. Look, I'm sorry. I mean it. Is that right? Look, everything I was doing, I was doing for Brecken. You can ask anyone in the tower if you don't believe me. So what do you got, Jafar? We've been picking up some of Rice's transmissions. One of his crews found something at the construction site, and they got very excited. They didn't say what it was, but they referred to bringing down the entire tower in one shot. Someone's got to find out what it is, and either confiscate it or destroy it. Well, I'm someone. Congratulations. The job is yours. We'll be in touch.
stop making me mad!
got less than an hour to return to your safe houses. After that, you'll be on your own. Brecken, this is Crane. Do you copy? Brecken, do you copy? Shit. Jade, this is Crane. Do you copy? Crane, how much antifence did you get? Listen, Rice wanted me to... He was... Look, he screwed us, okay? I only got five vials. What? Damn it! That's only a few days' worth. Listen, Crane, we've got a situation here. There's been an outbreak on the 18th floor. Get back here ASAP, and don't lose any of that antizen. Have you seen that house with the red smoke pouring out of it? If Rise's people spot it, they're gonna come knocking on his door. Someone ought to warn him. Yeah, I've got enough trouble right now, but I'll think about it. You know a guy named Kristoff? Is he around? Who? Oh, Mr. Gungo? Yeah, I met him. Not sure where he is now. Probably volunteering for a suicide mission. You wouldn't have to know where Kristoff is, would you? Kristoff? You mean the new scout? I was supervising all the scouts. Why don't you ask him? He's on the 19th floor. You're a regular saint, you are. I couldn't stand watching our kids starving. What's on your mind? Mr. Crane, are you familiar with a man named Vulcan Yasif Dahl? Vulcan Dahl? Yeah, of course. He owns Vulcan Petrol Engineering. He's the richest man in Haran. That's exactly right. And Mr. Dahl has need of your service. I didn't know he was still in the city. Most of his employees were evacuated, but his two chief engineers are still here in the slums. They're brothers. Twins, in fact. Tolga and Fatin. They've been working on a special project. It's highly confidential, and I'm afraid I can't discuss it. But I can assure you its importance is nearly beyond measure. Well, then I won't bother trying to measure it. The brothers are brilliant engineers, but they're also somewhat uh, idiosyncratic. This and the problems of operating in the current environment have put them behind schedule. Mr. Dahl would like you to assist them to get the project back on track. You will be well compensated, as you can imagine. Doing what? Simply do as they ask. You'll only be needed from time to time, and the task will be of short duration. Removing obstacles, you might say. They'll contact you when your assistance is required. I'll think about it. There's a lot to be done around the tower. Hope you find some time to take a look at the board. If we had more traps set in the city, traveling would be easier. What's the point of 
You Alfie? That's me. Electricity. Building maintenance. I keep this place running somehow. Glad you're here. I was just about to call you. What's the problem? Well, it's good news, bad news. The good news is that you restore the lights in the Cauldron District. The bad news is that it blew out the grid near the overpass. It's blacker than your pants pocket over there. So, do you need it switched back on? There are two substations. Flick, flick, you switch them on. The order doesn't matter. Then you throw the master in the main station, and it'll light up like a Christmas tree. I think I can do it. Of course you can do it. Any runner could do it. But there's a catch. Shutting off the lights has created a little black patch for the volatiles. Bunches of them are gathering there after sundown. So I've rigged a trap. It's already in place, all set to go. Now, if you can get in there and restore the power after it's dark, we can fry a whole lot of freaks in one shot. After dark? That's, that's going to be a lot dicier. Sure. That's why no one's volunteered for this job. But I'm thinking maybe you're a bit tougher than the rest of these guys. Just an impression. Let's just say I'm here to help. Really? Good intentions, huh? Hope you've got some guts, or you won't last long. <laughs>